I have this encounter uh, when I'm doing my PhD research. One of my professors recommends this, this great rabbi and scholar. His name's Abraham Joshua Heschel. He, he walked with Martin Luther King Jr. and the Civil Rights Movement, very influential rabbi. But um, I got introduced to his book called The Prophets. And it's, so it's this rabbi writing about the prophets. I start getting into this book and he just lays it out so clearly and it's helped guide my understanding of the Book of Mormon and all the scriptures, but uh, there's one part in particular where he talks about the difference between a priest and a prophet. And it's, it's helped me like unlock so many things um, because the priest, he talks about, uh, represents uh, the people in their relationship toward God. And so that's why the priest is bringing sacrifices, you know, on behalf of the people. The people have sent, you know, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. Mm -hmm. here's, here's the sacrifices on behalf of the people. Uh, please accept their repentance, God, and, and please forgive them. He says the prophet represents God to the people. And so the prophet has this special relationship with God, and, and the prophet is speaking God's word and God's feelings to the people. And so when I'm reading the Book of Mormon, the passion of the prophet, especially Abinadi, which I mentioned, he's, like, he's my favorite because he is the mold of the Hebrew prophet. He's going to the king and, you know, he's, he's bold, he's courageous, and, um, and he's conveying God's feelings, you know, God's pathos. Mm -hmm.